Okay, so I'd like to introduce you to Marta Lopez Flor. Most of you know Marta already. She's the our career services specialist at the Kevin's Wilson School. And she's gonna talk a little about the uh, IHG First Look program, which is gonna which will be held over uh, spring break this year. It's an outstanding uh, program. We've done it for two years now. And um, and she'll tell you all about it right now. Okay, good morning everyone. I'm really excited to be here because I get to tell you about something that I love doing in my job. Like I love taking this trip. I've done it two different years now and every time I come back with students, there's like this charge, this spark, this light about I'm gonna approach my career differently. So I'm starting my session, you'll see me quite a bit in this class, but I wanna start with this because our final seats are filling up fast for first look. And I want to make sure that this class particularly has an opportunity because after this class, you are really trying to get your final internship for credit. And this could be the way to making that happen. So the IHG First Look group um, always enjoys it. Just so you, we are on the same page, IHG means Intercontinental Hotels Group. You're going to learn a lot more about them today. Okay. So the program was originated really like exclusively to the, the Kevin Thompson <coughs> School. And now it's brought in, they started doing this first look program with other schools. And this year, we're expanding the program here at the U of M to include students from the Fogelman Business College, and we're also taking students who are part of the FCPA program, Memphis Career Preparation Academy. We have a, a subgroup here on campus. So it's, it's a great way to network with people from across the campus as well as networking with the employers, the IHG executives in Atlanta. Um, the goals, we, they really want you to learn about the company brand and culture while you're there. They want you to go prepared and asking a lot of questions. They want you to know about the career opportunities that exist with them both in the short term and long term. So one thing we, we're all, every time I go, I learn about a new position that's there. And I never knew that someone had a job doing that. Like, I, I remember how fascinated we all were by the brands division people who said they literally had people go in to every hotel, like kind of secret shoppers, and they <coughs> inspect for the brand standards to be met. And that's a person's job, where all they do is travel a region, and they go to different hotels just surveying, like, are the, is, is the hotel operator meeting our brand standards? I never knew that before I went on this trip. So, um, Another thing that they want, we want you to do is to complete the Tiger Town Professional Development Series. And I do that in a really creative way. I do workshops with you, and like some of it is gonna overlap with the class that this class of people going, so I'm actually editing a lot of the workshops and changing the content that'll be covered in this next IHG First Look trip. Um, you will definitely enhance your interview skills on this trip. The cool thing, the evolution that's taking place from the first and second trip, the first time they didn't do mock interviews, the second time they did. So literally the second time the students had an opportunity to do an interview with one of their campus recruiters. And it was kind of eye-opening because we talk about the STAR method and then they literally had a checkbox there at, like, to make sure that students responded using the STAR method. So you see that it actually matters in the, in the industry, like they're expecting that kind of response. They do offer paid summer internships, and that's why I love doing this trip in the spring, because I know you're looking for opportunities in the summer. The first time I did this, we did it in the fall, and the students had to wait until the summer, and so that now I know we're just gonna do this in the springtime. Um, and ultimately, they are trying to attract people as full-time employees after you graduate. So whether that's on the operations level or in corporate, you know, you'll get a taste of, of what opportunities exist. Um, and I'm happy Elizabeth is here and Bud was here because they both participated in this trip. So whenever you want to chime in with a fact, just like, hey, let me add something. Um, it's really unique professional networking opportunity. We're gonna be at the America's Division headquarters they have three different headquarters. Remember, this is an international company. Their America's division headquarters is in Atlanta. 
So that's a rule we stay. All food, hotel, and travel expenses are paid for. So you, like we set that up for you. The only thing you have to invest in is that blue Kemmons Wilson School branded shirt. Okay, so if you decide you want to go on this trip before you leave today, make sure you get Peggy's instructions on how to like pay for the shirt, and then you have to you know show her the receipt, and then you get the shirt from her because she's the person who distributes them. So I have those here. Um, again, potential employment, and I stress the potential because there's no guarantee anywhere in life. Okay, like you might land an in, uh, internship, you might land a job. It really depends on how well you do, who you impress, how you follow up, how you continue to network. So I don't want people to have the misconception that this is absolutely going to lead to a full-time job for me. I don't have that power. I can't make people hire you. As much as I wish I could make you come to my office well before graduation to, to develop your interviewing and networking skills, right? I can't make anyone do anything. So. I stress the potential um, employment and the professional development, because you have to do your part, as Professor Ford was saying earlier. You've gotta be willing to take advantage of the opportunities that are there. So, who is IHG? There's, I mean, I don't even think I'm capturing them well enough with this slide. They're one of the largest hotel companies with 13 brands. They're acquiring brands almost every day, um, it feels like. I just had to update this slide again this morning. Um, nearly 5,000 hotels spend in 100 territories and countries. They provide 674,000 guest rooms globally and serving over 150 million guests a year. So you would be, if you work with them or did an internship with them or go on a trip, you're going to get a taste of a huge company. And it's like you don't know what you don't know, right? So you'll have insight to how they structure Okay, these are all their brands, uh, you know, up to date. Their newest one is Avid, the, the one on the far right. Um, we try to make sure we stay in IHD hotels when we go on this trip. Right now, the Crown Plaza, which is their the property right next to their headquarters office, is under an extreme renovation. They are rehauling the whole property. And this is, mean, this is resulting in a lot of changes that are gonna take place on this trip. We're trying to book enough rooms in another property. Hopefully the stage, but I don't know at this <coughs> point because we haven't signed a contract. So I'm being honest with you. I'm gonna need you to be flexible with me as to what kind of hotel we're staying in. Okay. If you decide to go on this trip, you should definitely we, like look at this website, ihb.com, click away, explore it. Be like, you're gonna have to go with some knowledge before you, you know. I'll never forget, you were there, when they asked um, Matt Turner, who used to be with IHG Corporate um, Social Responsibility Department, he just quizzed our students, who can name all the brands for IHG? And one student was able to do it, because she did her homework, and he was like, Here's a hundred thousand IHG points. What? <laughs> like that? Like points just to stay at a hotel? Yeah. So, okay. hey, do your homework. You might pay off, right? <laughs> um, so we're asking students to commit to expectations. The trip we leave Sunday morning from this hotel. Okay. We'll be in the medallion room. We have breakfast together. This year, I will likely do my etiquette uh, dining workshop before we leave. Partially, for, for a whole lot of reasons, is partially is that I realize the sooner we can get that in, the better before we start making kind of social faux pas and mistakes, okay? Then um, we return the evening of Tuesday, March 5th. So it's, a, it's only part of your spring break. It is not your entire spring break. You can still make plans after this to go wherever you wanna go, Daytona Beach, whatever, Daytona Beach, by the way, is overrated. <laughs> okay, so commit to the full itinerary that we arrange on this trip. You're not gonna have free time. It's like we, that first day you come back from engaging and you're tired, because you've been on all day long. It's like going to a full day interview where you're like engaging and you're meeting other people and you're thinking, like people come back to the hotel 
that first night pretty tired. Like they thought they were gonna try to slip out and do something. <laughs> They're just tired, because you have to wake up the next day and be on all over again, okay? So you're gonna get a taste of what the business world is really like when you go to conferences and events like that, right? We ask that you sign a whole harmless waiver, an emergency contact information sheet, and a photo release, and we're making a lot of these forms digital now just to make it easier for our students to complete them in a timely manner. Um, we're asking you to commit to your professional development, guys. We're asking you to, to take it seriously. Um, you're, they're always watching you, and I, I'll never forget. Like I've learned so many things from our students in just <laughs> interacting with them. Like They don't realize, oh, I can't slip up and say a joke just because we're walking down the street in Atlanta. Like, in, in that case, it was like, and they got caught out there, they, someone overheard them. You know, someone, an executive overheard them and then I had to like apologize to the executive, I had to talk to a student, it was embarrassing. So know that if you go on this trip, you're not only representing yourselves and your families, but you're representing the University of Memphis. And in a lot of ways, the city of Memphis, because there are not a whole lot of people, you know, from Memphis who are considering this opportunity to, to attain a position with an IHG brand. You want to say something? Yes. Okay, okay, so with the, um, the professional development series, I really enjoyed that because by far as the etiquette um, part, you know how, because we had, for dinner we had chicken one night. And you know, it's kind of hard because you're used to eating chicken, but you see 